And you know what? That tooth is starting to separate. Forgive me, guys. Um, okay, so I just went one on the floor. Um, so uh, my daughter is bringing um, her kids over this afternoon for me to see them. And so I didn't have anything to cook, so I went to, uh, I had to go to Target too, which I don't like going to Target because I don't, I do not stand behind their policies about the transgender bathroom. But I had to make an exception because I wasn't going to Walmart. Every time we go into Walmart, it's so busy. And uh, they're out of stuff most of the time. So anyway, long story short, I was gonna go to the Winn-Dixie beside uh, the Target that I was going, that's closest to me. Before I get started, <clears throat> do y'all know what the egg does in the meatloaf? What does the egg do in like a cake batter? You know, I've always put an egg in my meatloaf, but I never knew what it did. But, and then the other thing is I don't have an egg. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite the conundrum, isn't it? <laughs> I like that word. When I learned that word, I really liked it. But anyway, let me... Okay, so if anybody knows what the egg does in cakes and meatloafs and things of that, the ones that call for egg, let me know. Please leave a comment. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. So anyway, um, I am getting the uh, meatloaf ready. And I normally have gloves on for this, but guys, I have no gloves. So... But the good thing is, that oven right there is gonna, it'll, the heat from your oven actually destroys uh, any kind of bacteria or anything. That's why it's important to clean your meats really good. Which hamburger meat you can't clean. I mean, I did, I don't know. That's another question. Anybody know, anybody know whether, uh, uh, whether the heat from the other oven um kills any germs that may have been that may have been contaminated with through packaging our hands uh does it kill bacteria and the germs at a certain temperature and for how long that's an interesting question anyway and i said you know i was going to post myself uh getting this meatloaf ready and uh what I realized, I was like, they've already seen me cook meatloaf. It's a different day, guys. <laughs> it's a different day. Uh, and hey, listen, guys, I just want y'all to know, y'all don't need to worry about me because I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm okay. Uh, you know, I have my moments at certain, you know, I, I, it, it, it's impossible for me to explain it to you uh, in full about, you know, what's the emotion that's behind that. You know, was I, was I, uh, was I crying to, uh, because my heart was heavy or was I crying um, because I was sad about something? Or was I crying because I was happy? So, you know. And I guess that depends on what day you're, 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 you're on. Well, that makes a pretty good meatloaf. Considering, look guys, considering I don't have a meatloaf pan. I just have a, 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 a shallow pan. And now what I'll do is a lot of people do uh, um, ketchup, but uh, yeah, uh, I like the barbecue sauce better. Now I am, I'm a little bit over the top. But, but, um, there's, there's usually a reason 
for my caution. Now, as, as me being a nurse, um, you know, you, you do know the difference between this and that and the other for the time being, but until, until my brain says enough of that, out the door with it because you ain't used it in five years. Juliet's sitting on the couch looking at me. <laughs> She's just like, Mama, what are you doing? What is it, baby girl? Okay, so then I take, uh, this is good barbecue sauce. I take the barbecue sauce and I put it all over it. And then I Then I uh, just kind of spread the uh, barbecue sauce so it's kind of thin. But you want to put most of it on the top because as it heats up, um, everything will go to uh, the path of least resistance. Anyway, um, you know, I sound like a science person, which that's what my degree was. My degree was in science. Uh, science, um, what was it? I have an associate degree in wait. Okay, I have an associate degree in uh, um, I guess it's um, So I think it's an associate degree in the science of nursing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let me put some. All right, it's time for me to peel the potatoes. Guys. You know, I was standing here and I was thinking that, you know, uh, Michelle, you, you know, things, uh, you got to remember back, uh, when you came to Pensacola, you didn't even have a house to live in. And, um, being, uh, homeless, it put, gives you a whole different perspective on certain things, but, uh, But for me, it gives me a passion and a heart for those who are hurting and or, and especially the ones who are hurting um, by someone else's hands. That, that's that's where I, it always gets me. But anyway, I was... Guys, I forgot what I was trying to say. Oh, uh, you know, that, to learn things, and I... Listen, we got to make learning fun for these children. You know, there's certain aspects of it that is not going to be fun for them, and they just have to literally just, you know, bear with it like we had to because they were essential to to a uh, individual's uh, social skills and their own, uh, to take care of their own stuff as well, or to, their money, whatever you want to call it. So... Um, whenever we were in school, um, they made us write, like, I think my spelling words, I wrote those ten times each, and that actually works for me. But, um, you know, we had to go, we had to learn how to write, we had to learn how words were put together, and then we had to learn how, uh, how, uh, words were put together, and then we had to learn how sentences were put together, and then we had to learn how uh, paragraphs are, uh, um, then we had to learn about, uh, chapters or st in the different types of books. So, yeah.
So I have right here, I have this, let me show it to y'all. I have this gate here that opens like this because the kitchen is small and uh, and they get underfoot and you know I don't want to hurt them. So or, or do I want to hurt myself as well? Y'all see this refrigerator behind me? Y'all would not believe. Okay, let me tell you the story about this place here. My daughter's friend, the person that she stayed with last year, when, uh, or the year before last, I don't remember. It's either the last year or the year before last, when both of our vehicles broke down, we were completely uh, grounded. And, uh, I don't know if that was the time of Hurricane Sally, I don't remember, but, uh, no, that was before, that was before Sally hit. Anyway, um, so my daughter was over here with Lauren, staying with her the week that she was, uh, or the few weeks, I don't remember how long it was, may have been a week, it may have been three weeks for mine, but anyway, um, um, so my daughter stayed over at Lauren's house because Lauren was taking her back, taking her to work and, and uh, picking her up. <clears throat> and then if uh, they needed to work the schedule around Lauren's job and Madison's job, they, they seemed to manage to figure it out. So, which goes to tell you, show you, now I say this with, uh, I, it's not so much I'm worried about the carbon footprint. What I'm concerned about is, um, um, you know, these young children that uh, they have the skills. Maybe that's the wrong word. They have the capability to uh, to pursue a life that's. Uh, honest and trustworthy and uh godly but just like us now you see we didn't have that many we didn't have the distractions they they've got today you know here's my meatloaf i'm going to put it in the refrigerator till i'm ready to put it on which won't be long but meanwhile back on the farm just joking guys so i yeah now i've got to um, now I've got to, here it is, I've got to cut this bacon, um, because I use bacon in my, I use bacon in my waist, listen, I am the world's worst with paper towels, I'll admit it, and I do, I want to get me some rag, oh, I got some. The problem with that is, is, uh, things around here, they go on vacation and they never come back. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. Well, I didn't see any of y'all in here last night. Well, you can always play my, my live stream. Plus, it gives me something to do while I'm, I'm in here in the kitchen. It makes the time go by as well. You know, and I guess for me, it's not that, uh, it's not any different from, you know, an ordinary life. I mean, an ordinary day in an ordinary person's life. Uh, you know, we all got our drama. We all got our skeletons in the closet. We always have the, we all got our nutties. But uh, listen, don't be, don't be, don't judge me when I say that because I'll be honest with you, uh, we all got one. We all got one. If you're that one, <sighs> thank you. Because you know what? You allowed us, you actually uh, 
shaped and molded us as a person because we we had you know we had to give respect for one another but even as sisters though um i love my sisters um do i want to live with them um i don't know depends on how old i am <laughs> all right guys so i cut my bacon and then i gotta package it up <clears throat> Then we'll begin on the potatoes. Oh, I was standing here and I was thinking, you know what? I wonder if they have any, uh, any, um, potato peeling contest. <laughs> Y'all, I think, I think I, I, I have it hands down. Seriously. I can, um, I, I can, uh, peel a, a five bag, bag yep. I can peel... <laughs> A five-pound bag of potatoes, literally in less than less than ten minutes. And now that I said it, it doesn't seem that uh, doesn't seem very awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. The, no, I put the bacon up, but I didn't get did I? I didn't take the bacon out. And um. I have got to get back to cook cooking, and uh, and you know, I actually enjoy cooking whenever it's a labor of love. Um, it's it's kind of your way of loving on others and your family, um, and I like it when I can take my time and just uh, you know, not be in a hurry. I guess I should turn on that uh, oven because I don't know what time it is. Let me look first. Um, and so look, I put, all right, I take some bacon. That's probably a little bit too much, but I take some bacon and then I turn it on and I add just a tad of, of uh, oil, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, oftentimes I just use the the grease that uh, ah, the grease that comes from the, uh, the from the bacon or the fat or whatever. And you know that's another thing. Whenever uh, whenever my when my granny when I was a little kid and my granny was my age right now, uh, you didn't. That was the staple in the kitchen was lard and. Uh, you know, we call it, what do we call it, lard, or, I don't know what we call it, but, um, so I wonder, but I know this is the pork's fat, because I know we get fat from pork, I mean, we get pork from pigs, all right, well, let me see what time it is. I like to have my uh, my music on. Um, bake. And I think it's uh, 375. And I would start out like 40 minutes. 30 minutes if you, you know, you're scared. Um, but, you know, don't turn the oven on. <clears throat> you want to cut it open in the middle and kind of push it back where you can see the middle of the meatloaf um, because you do not want uncooked beef. No, you don't. They used, my grandmother taught us to smell it. You know, with anything like, don't necessarily look at the expiration date, just smell it. If it smells good and it tastes okay, then you're probably okay, you know. But we are so into uh, you know, um, things that are, uh, expired. I was really bad about it. Mm -hmm. 
need to turn on some Christmas music, don't I? I can always turn it down whenever I want to talk, which I, that's the thing I like to talk randomly. I like to play it softly in the back. Give me just a second. Let's play Christian music. I mean Christmas music. I can't hardly see. Hey, Romeo. This is um, YouTube. I just look up, uh, you know, Christmas music. And there's a live stream going. Okay, so y'all already, okay, listen, here we're going to play a game. Uh, y'all can, and it's okay, like I told Madison, hey, doesn't bother me that nobody's on the live stream to care less, because you know what? I'm having fun. And I'm having fun, and I'm enjoying cooking for my family. Having the means to cook by my family. But y'all missed it. Y'all supposed to, all right, I want to play a game. The game is, who can spot the most mistakes i made? Okay, I already made one. I put the bacon in the boiler that I'm going to use for my uh, potatoes once I dice those up. But I put my bacon in there, and I'm supposed to put it in the pot behind it. So, any harm done? No. In fact, I'll still use the pan to cook my potatoes. If anything, it may give it a little hickory flavor, but I don't think so. Anyway, and so the way I do green beans, I get cut green beans in a can. I won't put the cut green beans just like that. And I drink, uh, no, no, I don't. I pour them in can of uh, juice and all. But before I put them in the boiler, um, I fry up a um, brown up a couple pieces of of uh, bacon, which is this right here. And uh, I go ahead and get the tap off of the cans because uh, once I'm done here, I can turn them on and just kind of let them simmer. I mean, the beans are already cooked. But here, um, always wash the top of your cans. If you forget, it's okay. Okay, guys, so I'm going to tell y'all something. So, uh, Madison, my youngest daughter, she's a great cook. Hey, Unspecified V, I'm cooking. I'm yelling like I, I'm, I can yell through the phone. That's how crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, she's a great cook that she didn't want to cook. Nope. Not at all. I'm cooking same thing I cooked last time I seen y'all. 
uh, or last time I did a live stream in the kitchen, um, I don't remember where it was. One of my one of my first few live streams, but uh, every day is a different scenery though. So the way I cooked it last time, I may be completely. I'm just joking. No, I'm not. Um, I just kind of wing it, and that the things that I forget, I just you know. That's a word. <laughs> I mean, if, unless you're cooking like an egg, a uh, uh, cake or something like that, yeah, and then, then it's important you gotta, um, you gotta put the appropriate amount of, uh, baking soda, and, um, now they have self-rising cake mix, so I don't know, um, but we're not cooking a cake. I can cook a cake. Ooh, cake sounds good, doesn't it? It does. Um. So, uh, so, uh, unspecified, the, it's so good to see you on here, um, I, I didn't get to read my, um, my Bible and my devotional yesterday, so y'all gonna just have to have a little bit of mercy on me. <laughs> I, I, and I know you guys, it does, I know you guys, you, you, that you guys, it doesn't bother y'all, because we all deal with something that we're trying to, anyway, um, yeah, I didn't get to read yesterday, and, uh, but I got it, I, I uploaded this morning, um, I think it's 1 Corinthians chapter 10, yeah, <sighs> I think this is the third can opener since I moved back from Panama City. I wonder how long this one will hang around. <laughs> and all of my spoons and my forks, I went and bought, or actually I went with Maddie. She bought the utensils, you know, just for a setting of four or six. I think we did four. Anyway, um... But come to think about it, she did buy the, that silverware, so I guess if she wants to lose all of it, that's her business. It ain't mine, right? Choose your battles. But, um, you know, eventually they catch on, they learn. They're probably no different than we were. They're just a little bit, the thing with kids today, and like the, um, the ones that, you know, or in their uh, late teens, in the 20s, even probably up in the 30s, is that uh, they're no different than we were, but um, they have been, like, in, in a sense, subjected to... Let me turn this down a little bit. I feel like I'm trying to talk over it. Oh, we're cooking... Uh, we're cooking meatloaf southern style uh and then um homemade mashed potatoes and uh green beans seasoned up <laughs> so yeah my, my my oldest daughter she's coming over um she said she would be over here in a little bit anyway um so i just i just browned the um let me see if i can show y'all can y'all see that I can't show you anymore because I'm going to pour it out on me. Here, I can do it like this. Okay. Never fails, guys. Bear, bear with me. That's loud, ain't it, babies? I'm the only waver. I'm the only uh I'm the only towel waver here. <laughs> Usually me and Maddie kind of take turns. <laughs> oh. Yeah, mine did mine don't like it either. I don't like it, but anyway. Uh she's built so much food on the stove. I mean, uh, you can't find a burner that won't smoke. I think she finally got the uh oven. No, not not all, but it's not the oven's not bad. I'm looking at the smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. Uh, I'll be honest with you. If something happened, 
In fact, the poodle we had before, um, Scooby, he was a toy poodle. And uh, he, it was one night we were staying at um, the lady I told you guys about, uh, Miss Trudy, who died a month after the um, hurricane. Anyway, we were staying at her house. <laughs> and one night, Scooby, he was going back and forth from the, the door to the outside to our bedroom door. Back and forth, back and forth. And finally, I got up. <laughs> Because I was like, he doesn't do this out of the norm, so something's up. And sure enough, <clears throat> Miss Trudy had left the, uh, the oven on. And who knows, you know. It, it's not as common as it used to be because um, they regulate a lot of things now. But, yeah. Um, anyway, so there's my green beans, guys. Well, half some just went in the... The sink. Anyway. So now, all right, guys, time me. When I say go, start the timer. I'm going to see how quick I can uh, peel a half a bag of potatoes. <laughs> I, was, I said that earlier. I was like, you know what? Uh, if they had a potato peeling contest, I'd win. <laughs> I know I would, cause, and I'm quite proud of my uh, potato peeling skills. <laughs> Because most people, you know, you, they use that thing like, you know, the potato. Okay. <laughs> um, they use the potato peeler uh, to um, peel their potatoes. And that's fine. But I, I can I can peel a bag, uh, the whole bag in between five and ten minutes. But uh, <laughs> that's because my mom, my grandmother... Uh, she made us get in the kitchen. I didn't want to, but she made us. Now I'm glad she did. Uh, I mean, I, I'm kind of a, a southern cook. Um, I'm, you know, I'm uh, really good at, you know, all things southern for the most part. For homemade dressing, homemade mashed potatoes, um, you know, cakes and things of that nature. Now, when you get into the more exquisite <laughs> cuisines that aren't Southern, and even probably some that are Southern, I have, I've never cooked an apple fritter. But um, my daughter, she, she's the one that cooks all these fancy dinners that are like uh, French cuisine and stuff like that. Uh, anyway... She doesn't, and the thing is, she doesn't cook that much. I know she doesn't get off till probably like four or five or six. Unless, you know, I understand. It is hard to get off work and uh, come home and cook. But <clears throat> we have to if we want to get healthier because it's better to go back to what worked before. And if you, I mean, people say, well, there was this back then. They just didn't know about it. Perhaps, but perhaps it's because of our activity and what we eat and what we don't eat, you know? And I listen, I, I, I'm the world's worst. Because I literally, I thought I was going to have to, I thought literally I was going to eat myself inside my home after COVID. You see, and then that here, next thing you know, the old uh, enemy he comes at you like, see? See, you know, you're not in control, and I have to tell him, you're right. I'm not in control. Praise God, the Lord's in control. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> no, I'm not along for the ride, but uh, that I'm very, very cautious about things. Um, not overly cautious, like um, to the point of paranoia, no. But I'm cautious more about not so much things, but people. <clears throat> and I'm pretty good. Re I can, I'm a pretty good read of character to a person. My daughter has that capability as well. I guess we all have it. But perhaps only, you know, just like with anything, we all have the capability to learn music. But, you know, there's certain people that can, they learn it almost effortlessly because that's something they have a passion for. So I think we all are gifted. I just think that uh, there, some people, their gifts 
or um, are, are, are prominent and, and they're prominent and they exercise them. That's the thing. It's something that's so simple, just like for me. Why is it so hard for me to walk up and down the street twice? Why is it so hard for me? And I have no one to blame but myself. You know, I used to get up every morning, drink a cup of coffee. I'd eat my oatmeal and uh, I put on my walking clothes and then um, I would go walk. <clears throat> Usually, uh, well, when Maddie was in school, it was um, after I dropped her off at the school bus, the school, the bus stop. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't know how to get this thing to play y'all's, y'all's comments. I'm trying, guys. All messages are visible. Okay, there we go. Now I can read them as y'all go. Yes, he does give us discernment. Absolutely right. It's, and we all have that gift. That's what I'm trying to say. We all have that gift. It's just some of us don't exercise them, you know, like others do. And then there's certain people like, uh, you know, they their life is, uh, it's actually picture perfect. But then but the bottom, the thing about that is, is usually when someone is, uh, not always, but when someone is, uh, always displaying this, that, and the other, uh, it, you, you have to wonder, you know, what, what kind of emotion or pain is causing them to do that, because, you know, that goes two ways, and, uh, anyway, but some of our habits are healthy, right? I mean, it, what's, it doesn't hurt anybody to get out and walk, and, you know, even the elite should get out and walk, but that's the other problem with, uh, having a lot of wealth <clears throat> you lose your freedom because you can't just walk the streets anymore and nobody would bother you so that's two-sided so uh yeah i don't like i do not like doing this camera thing but i was like you know what i just i just need to be obedient and do what god tells me to do and just put, try kicking and uh, screaming and saying, no, I don't want to go. You may, be, you may have to use both a cell and a laptop to view better. <laughs> oh. oh, help us, Lord, help us. I know, I, I love to laugh. But you know what? It's hard to laugh, though, whenever you got crap going on in your life. But eventually you, you manage to get there. And, uh, and for me, it's simply just, uh, when Satan comes at me with that kind of garbage, I just have to kind of sit back and, uh, and, um, relish in, uh, the joy of our salvation and tell him and every, everything he comes at you with, you dispute him, give him facts. And eventually he'll go. Uh, I remember whenever I, <clears throat> first became a Christian. You know, I used to be scared of the dark. <laughs> I used to be scared of the dark. Um, not so much anymore. It's not that I was scared of the dark. I was scared of the things that lurk in the dark. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm going to uh, peel some potatoes. What was I saying, guys? <laughs> I don't know why it's doing. Yeah, I don't know what. Hmm. You know, this the, this phone here, whenever I do my uh, videos, now, even though, even though, um, what was I saying, guys? <laughs> um, Oh, even though I have, I've learned how to uh, post the videos, um, I know you have to check, uh, yeah, that's good, Giga, Giga there are, um, it's raining here, but uh, you know what, that's also a motivator to get me out and walk, is to walk uh, my fur baby, because they, they deserve it and they need it, 
well, what was I saying to you guys? It's just saying. I have no idea. It has just completely left me. <laughs> think, think, think. What was I saying, guys? They never answer me. So, oh, oh, so I'm going to tell you all about my meatloaf. I'll show it to you before I put it in the oven, and the oven just uh, dings so I can put that in there. Um, I don't know what I was saying, guys. Just bear with me a minute. I don't want to blow a piston. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, eggnog is my drink. Yummy. I know it's full of sugar. True, and hopefully the dog will bark at... Why do they keep doing that? Oh, I see. I got to scroll down. Uh, oh, hopefully the dog will bark at danger. Yes. And, you know, a lot of my anxieties <clears throat> have been alleviated having her um, with me at night. Uh, and, and I can tell a difference also when I'm driving. When I have her, I'm, um, I tend to be much more focused. But, yeah. Sometimes it's not feasible for me to take them, but they really are. They're fun to have around you. Yes, they do. And, you know, they love us unconditionally. And that, that's what, just like children, that's what hurts me so bad is to people that are so mean to innocent animals and children. Who I will never understand it. But, and we were playing some music. Um, and I turned it down because I think I felt like I was yelling. Anyway, um, and my homemade mashed potatoes are really not that uh, big of a deal. All I do is take <coughs> regular um, potatoes, not iced potatoes, but, you know, just regular, like, I don't know, Idahoan potato, potato out of a bag. Um, I just uh, take these and I cut them up. I just peel them and cut them up into cubes. I had a dog with a bark, big bark. She scared off all the people that knocked <laughs> knocked at our at my door. I bet. Yeah, that's the other reason why I have that gate in my kitchen. Uh, I think I showed it earlier, but anyway, I have that gate because they can't get in here. And the other reason when somebody comes to the door, I put them in here. Um, they they wouldn't bite anybody, but they tend to jump. Let me give you a prime exam example. Hold on, let me. Oh, I'm trying not to forget my thought. Let me put this meatloaf in the oven. Oh, and I gotta wash my hands. Yeah, um. <sighs> but y'all you know what? I mean, even like, um, <clears throat> even like, uh, nursing homes and um hospitals and stuff they're they're kind of doing away with um cooked meat or cooked meals you know everything's just about you know comes pre-cooked and you just heat it all up <sighs> okay well i mean i guess if it works i don't know but you know there's something to be said about things that take time you know I don't know. That's just my opinion. Now, I'm going to turn these off. Meatloaf, meatloaf. <clears throat> so, um, Gegba and uh, Unspecified Beef. Hey, uh, what does the egg do in a cake mix? And what does the egg do in, um, okay, without it falling, that's my meatloaf. <clears throat> And I used barbecue sauce instead of instead of um, ketchup. <clears throat> now for me, I got to I got to put an alarm on my phone. I'll forget it. I, I think there's an alarm up there too. Yeah, I can do that. 
I like having the little, uh, the little small handheld timer. But I mean, I can, I can always improvise and use what's available. All right, so timer. Um, I think you know that, like, science is kind of my. Uh, I like science. I love uh, reading about things, hearing about things. Like I learned the other day that uh, a cow can smell something six miles away. I'm like, wow. I mean, <laughs> I've never heard that. And I, I, I grew up on a farm. Okay, yeah, I sit. A lot of times I'll set the timer and forget to hit start. Oh, I was peeling the potatoes. Anyway, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> What was I saying, guys? What was I saying? Help. Comfort food, yum. Yes. But, you know, I'm, I miss the food uh, growing up. And I'm going to just tell you, I hated shelling peas. I hated working in the garden. But now, that's the funniest thing. I find gardening therapeutic. You know, um, and it's something you can do alone. And, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I, I miss the food from when I was uh, younger. But, you adapt and move forward. It's the only thing I know how to do. And, you know, the thing is, things is, is, you know, we love our children, but let's all be honest. We all have all had our moments where we just could pinch their little heads, pinch their little necks, pinch their heads off. They are literally, some things, like, and I could tell you, for instance, right now, but what I've learned to do is not allow her to get the best of me. And it usually, you know, and most of the time it's just I need to walk off. I need... I need to just sit by myself, pray, and not worry about what's going on outside the, that room. Now look, this potato here, that's not a good potato. Now I should have used half of it, but the other thing being in the kitchen, it's always bothered my back, but it bothers my ankle and uh, my left knee too. But I take some uh, ibuprofen and I've learned though, like I used to take ibuprofen if I, I'm not supposed to take it at all, I'll be honest with you. Um, but uh, instead of taking 400 milligrams, I just try 200 and if it works, I'll know, I usually know within an hour if it works, and if it doesn't work, i take another one. And then there's days where, you know what, I'm like, no, I'll forget it. I'm busy, I'm, you know, unless I set an alarm, I won't remember. I just have to face reality. <laughs> and then yesterday, like, I, I, then there's, you know, when I'm out door dashing, there's always that one customer, and I'm sure you could apply this to, you know, each of us could apply it to our unique uh, lives, but <clears throat> yesterday, um, it's the first time I had actually delivered there, and it was kind of like a little hidden, um, uh, it was a cul-de-sac, so, you, you know, you couldn't go around it. It's kind of like a little village <laughs> with these cute little small houses, and uh, this older man came out, <laughs> and uh, I, he, what did he say to me? He said, um, Oh, I said, um, I had a little trouble finding you. I hope your food is not cold. He said, uh, I fought in the, I don't remember which war, war he said. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't. And I said, he said, so it doesn't bother me if my food's cold. So, you know, you know, I, then I stop and I think, you know, we sure do complain a lot, but, um, you know, we have people who sacrifice their lives 
And not only that, going to war was, you know, back then, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a, a retreat, escape, getaway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then the other thing is, people are so triggered by everything. So I don't, you know, I'm like, I can't keep up with all that. No. Uh, I'm, if, I, if it's, if it's uh, yellow, I'll call it yellow. If it's green, I'll call it green. And then they say, well, and you mix the colors together. Uh, no, I, I, you know what? Things don't bother me like they used to. Because, you know, we're all on our journey in life. And, you know, certain things that are within our life that we just can't, we have no control over. For instance, like, uh, this is what I try to teach, tell my kids. Um, like, none of us have the opportunity to, uh, you know, mail in our vote to who, where, what country we want to be born to and to which parents. But, you know, <coughs> the people who are rich, um, money brings its own problems as well. Don't let the devil deceive you. You know, you know and, and younger people, even my daughter, I said this to, and she was like, well, no, but uh, it sure does help to get through life. And I was like, yeah, I know that. I'm not talking about that. But anyway, um, you know, it's just, yeah, we all have to have it to live. No doubt. So... I think, again, when you asked me, so, then I think I told you, um, homemade mashed potatoes, meatloaf, and green beans. I've kind of been rambling here as I peel these potatoes, but to be honest with you, it sure does help me get my mind off of pain. And that, you know, and that's the thing. Um, I liked walking. I like walking because... I, I, normally, what I used to do, these potatoes were really bad. Um, what I used to do was put in my praise and worship music. And, you know, as I walked, I would, you know, talk to the Lord and praise the Lord. And, you know, you know, just the things that you do when you're alone with God. And it would actually, you know, it was good for me. And then and within three weeks, I broke both legs, just walking. I'm like, I'm like, Lord, I don't know. I don't, these tests are getting harder. <laughs> Can I quit? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel sometimes. You know, though, and, and I have to look at my daughter because I get so frustrated with certain things. But I have to look back on my life and realize how God must have felt with me. You know, we all have the, so much potential, but we don't tap into it. I'm the first, I'm the first one guilty, but, you know, <clears throat> uh, she's, you know, she's unique in her, um, uh, in her, um, as a person, but, you know, the, the problems, they're, they're not unique. They're, everybody faces different things. You know, and most of the time people that pretend on social media that their life is all great and grand, it's usually not, you know, so don't, don't let that motivate you to, um, you know, to, to achieve, uh, riches or money because it, it's just, it doesn't, it gives you nothing that you can hold on to. You think it's material things and you, I'm, I've been there and, uh. And then when you decide to uh, simplify your life, and that's what we did. Uh, that's what we did. We, we was getting rid of all of our furniture and stuff and moving on a sailboat. It was actually a good feeling to get rid of all that stuff. I think I said this in another video. <clears throat> we, are, we are at a time right now that most of us, we can't wiggle. There's no money put aside. And some of us are, for, are guilty for being in that position. And then there are some of us who are not. And, you know, 
you know, and, and so I think most, for me, what I focus on is, okay, well, <clears throat> what can I do to show that I am a good steward of my money? You don't go buy a dog. Trust me. No, I love Juliet. I love her. Oh, that, that dog is, oh, God knew exactly what he was doing when he gave me her. She is so sweet. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, people like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's maybe not what you're doing. It's what you're not, not it's not maybe what you're not doing, but what you're doing that <clears throat> could um, be the re reason why your blessings aren't showering down from heaven. Usually when I reflected on why things were happening, I was the number one denominator. <laughs> and, you know, just because I'm strong-willed, I'm stubborn, and I don't like, uh, I don't like attention on me, so the way I, the way I have dealt with that is, uh, I, I was at a point, I was like, so in control of my life that, yeah, I was driving myself nuts. You know, um, and I think that reflects back on having a childhood that I was completely out of control. Uh, you know, I had no control over that. So now as, a, I, as an adult, I went and I over, overcompensated. And, uh, you know, I bought what I wanted. You know, uh, I got my degree. I got a good job. You know, I, you know I'm looking pretty nice, you know, turning the heads and everything. Oh boy, you, sometimes you have to be very careful what you go after. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but you know what? My life was only complete whenever I first become saved. And uh, I had so many questions, but then I had, I had so many fears. And um, it's just amazing what God has done is He's took every little single thing in my life and shown me that in Him, the victory will always be for my benefit. And so, you know, it's, a, it's, been a, it's been a rough time, but it's so much, it's, it's so worth the reward. And, you know, I know it can be scary for, for a lot of people, but uh, just remember when you have human emotions, and I have to still do this to this day, is um, when it's an emotion that's not, that's not uh, deri derived from uh, love, um, it's not of God. And once you begin to, to acknowledge those uh, emotions, <clears throat> then you can uh, handle them when they first start coming at you. That's the, you know, that's the thing I learned. Plus, we have the peace and assurance in knowing that uh, God is not going to ever let us go through something uh, we can't handle. You may feel like you can because I've been there. I'm like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I want out. Uh, yeah. I'm getting thirsty, guys. Anyway, do we, do any of y'all watch uh, uh, Dinesh D'Souza? I love watching him. Um, he said he always has such great videos, and um, he does such a great job uh, articulating, you know, the uh, message that he wants to do. And his wife is just lovely. She looks, she just looks so sweet. But uh, yeah, and then you know. The, the other part of, all right, there, as uh, this is why I, I wanted to tell you guys this. So as a Christian, we can um, we can be on fire for God, or we we can choose. We can be on the opposite end, and we could choose not to uh, believe. And then you're, and then there's a middle where you kind of believe it. But you really haven't explored it, and you don't know enough factually 
to um, make an assessment. <clears throat> and so um, the devil, devil knows each kind of uh, each kind of trip uh, or what he can use to trip you up. He he that he starts it from your weaknesses. So how, well, you're like, well, I can't help that I have weaknesses in that area. Yeah, you can. You, you don't have to ha let that weakness dominate you. Not saying that you're going to be, you know, you're going to go to the Olympics with your uh, new skill. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you don't have to be controlled by that weakness. You can control the weakness. And the first thing to do is to acknowledge you are weak in an area and to um, ask God to take it from you and then you get rid of it. You leave it with him. So you're like, well, I did that. Next day, the devil was back at me. He just won't leave me alone. You got to be persistent. Uh, he kept tempting Jesus, you know. And, uh, you know, Jesus finally, he had, I guess he had enough. He realized he wasn't going to cave. You know, it's kind of like after you get from, you first stand up for yourself and for um, what the Holy Spirit has laid on your heart. Um, that new, um, just like you know, most things, it's, that it's new, it's uh, exciting, you know, you, you, you feel lighter, you know, things like that. And then what happens is the storms of life hit us and uh, the sailboat just kind of drifts off until God pulls your rope, pulls you back in. I, he's like, I got you, I got you, don't worry about it, I got you. And, you know... And as any good father, um, he never makes us pay for our mistakes. It, not, I'm not talking about like a murder or something like that. He, he uh, gives us grace when we don't deserve it. And especially for people like myself that's so stinking stubborn. I mean, sometimes I get on my own nerves, seriously. I drive myself crazy. But what's, what has changed, I'll tell you what's changed, is it used to bother me, and uh, I put a lot of energy in not being the person that I was, um, because I knew I wasn't happy. Um, so I guess, you know, I just, I thought I could buy things, I thought I could uh, dance and go to the clubs and, you know, things like that. I thought that that would bring me happiness, but you know what? It didn't. And uh, not even my nursing degree, that didn't bring me happiness. I truly found happiness and joy in Christ Jesus. Um, just to kind of, if you know, so I like to think about things deeply. And just the fact that he, uh, he loved us that much, I just, I can't, it's hard for me to wrap my head around it. But, you know, he's definitely a good father. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> our children have got to, you know, our youngsters, you know, we've got to uh, start educating them on the things that we were educated on, um, you know, back when school was school. Um, you know, the national anthem, you know, teach them about our history and stuff like that. I have three grandkids and, you know, we have the money. We need to invest more money in education. I mean, that is the future of this country. Why would you, why, I don't understand why you would not want to um, pour the money into that area. That's the one area that the United States is slacking in. And it shouldn't be that way. But you, it, one of it's a problem of um, they're not paying the teachers. They're not paying them near enough to be shaping and molding these young people to become leaders in our country. But the thing is, is uh, if we have, if, if there's, uh, if there is, uh, you know, they talk about racism. Here's my thing. Um, I'm not defined by how much money I have in my bank and I'm not defined by the color of my skin. But, I like to be defined by my character, um, the person and, and who I am. And uh, 
I'm, I'm really, I really have a lot of faults. I do. But, you know, just try not to let them control me, you know? It's not like, I mean, I'm talking about stuff like, I chew the inside of my mouth. <laughs> it's like, why do you, why do you do that? I used to, when I was little, I would chew my fingernails. That yeah, wasn't good. Anywho, um, Maddie, I think she chews her nails. Now I chew the inside of my mouth and I grit my teeth. Mm-hmm. Not good. But I kind of took my time on them potatoes, didn't I? Oh. I'm about to sit down here in a minute. My legs, my uh, feet are hurting. All righty, so I'm going to put the potatoes in. I'm going to put them on too small. A low, low boil. Um, I, guys, have y'all ever, um, have you ever ate tomato gravy? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Tomato gravy with homemade biscuits. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's a southern thing. The other southern thing I used to love, um, chicken and dumplings. And, um, at Thanksgiving, cornbread, uh, dressing. That was my favorite. And... I don't know. I forgot what I just asked you guys. What was I saying? Guys, if y'all could see Romeo and how he's looking at me like, you all right, my grandma? I'm not leaving Romeo. Oh, I do too. I love chicken and dumplings. My great granny, she used to make them for me. And I was trying to think of, uh, oh, I know what my great granny used to make. And maybe y'all remember too, um, apple turnovers. I love those. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I ought to make some today. I mean, not today, but I ought to look up a recipe and make them. Yeah, she made some awesome apple turnovers. They were so good. My great granny, she she could cook. Uh, she was an excellent cook. And um, she was pretty active. Uh, we used to go get the apples for, uh-huh, yep. That's right. Yeah. Um, I remember my great, my grand, my grandmother, my great granny especially, she was always, um, making jellies and preserves. Her biggest one was fig preserves, and I love them. Um, I haven't had them in forever, but yeah, I love them. I'm gonna stretch my back. I hope I don't forget Maddie. Let me see what time it is. She's gotta get off it. She's getting off it. Six. All right. I'm good. It's only 4.05. Anyway. Ah. And also, whenever I cook, um, the kitchen is usually clean by the time I'm done. Till the neighbor yelled at us. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if y'all, if you knew you guys had chicken farm, y'all had chickens on where y'all came from. But I'm bending down like this so I can stretch my lower back. Um, I hated going to the chicken in the chicken yard. One, I'm going to step in poo, which is like everywhere. And then two, I was scared of the hens and the roosters. But if I, if I left eggs out there, I would be in trouble. Yeah, one time I dropped the eggs and I, I got a spanking for it. But anyway, um, yeah, that chicken yard. It was like, uh, 
That was like the haunted house. I hated that thing. And then one time, I got mad at my mom. And so I, I took all the furniture out of the bedroom. I taught my sisters in to help in me. I took all the furniture and pieces of, in the living room, which wasn't a lot, but I took them all and we, we hauled them all out into the woods. And I set up a house in the woods. <laughs> I swept all the leaves back. We had clean dirt. Uh, yeah. I, I wonder if my sisters remember that. So, and when it came time to fess up, well, my mother knew, already knew that it was me. Because I was the one that always, you know, mischief. Just not, not bad, but I'm always testing the boundaries. Let's see. Anyway, uh, so my mother asked, she was like, let's see what she said. She was like, um, all right, you know, Michelle, you're going to get a whipping for that. Nope, grew up in the city. They have weird rules, but I love fresh eggs, nice colors. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but, um, yeah, well, you're not missing the farm life. The farm life is not as... Uh, enjoyable as these people that do it on YouTube because a lot a lot of that stuff we didn't have um, that was a lot of raking of leaves it was it, it was like literally there were we worked every day just about to my grandmother and my grandfather uh, uh, they said that uh, I what was I saying Oh, between my grandmother and my grandfather, uh, there was always work to do. And, you know, no sooner than you've done something, like rake the whole yard, uh, it's done been like six days, seven days, and now it's time to do it again. And there was always, always something to tend to. The garden... We didn't use a dryer. You had to hang your clothes out on a clothesline. Yeah, it was, it was, um, it was intense. But you know what? I, I, I cherish all of my, um, the things that, you know, I learned growing up. Because part of, you know, living, uh, basically on your own, except for, um, you know, your water and your electricity uh, and, you know, a few groceries, um, you, you're you pretty much self-sufficient. Um, yeah, and now that then they, because we lived out 16 miles out of town, and um, I remember uh, it's probably been about, I don't know, 20, 25 years, and uh, let me turn that off. And they, uh, we had well water, but anyway, um, they brought the city water out to 16 miles out of town. Now, why would they be so insistent upon people having the county or city water? Because they can control you. But yeah, and, and pump water was so tasty. It tastes so good. Well, guys, I hate to go, but I need to go because I'm going to sit down for a minute while this stuff is... Um, it gets going and I'll have to come check it. But anyway, um, I love y'all. Everybody have a blessed evening. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming in and cooking with me. All right, guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye. If I can forget how to do it. Uh, oh, here. Bye.